GlobalCal is a simple and time-saving calibration process by CR Monitor that can be performed on individual Sentry IT gas detectors or through the Sentry IT controller. In this video, we are demonstrating the GlobalCal procedure on the Sentry IT gas detector. The GlobalCal procedure consists of three steps, applying zero gas, applying span gas, and completing the process. The following tools are required to carry out this procedure on the ammonia gas detector. The 5100-25-IT gas detector, the magnetic wand, permeation systems calibrator kit, the ammonia permeation tube, and the ammonia cell recharge kit. Specifically for the ammonia detector, you will have to rebuild the liquid EC cell first. First, recharge the sensor cell using the liquid EC cell rebuild process. This includes recharging the electric light and rebuilding the electrochemical cell. Please note that the gas detector has been previously removed from service and brought to a clean area for this procedure. In order to recharge the electrolyte, you will need to purchase one of the two available recharge kits. We will be using the ammonia cell for this demonstration. Each kit consists of the following items. The electrolyte solution with expiration date, plastic fill bottle for the electrolyte, tweezers, membranes and O-rings, Please keep in mind that the membranes are white, separated by a light-colored paper. The light-colored paper is not a membrane. And finally, alcohol swaps for cleaning the electrolyte. All of these items can be purchased from Sierra Monitor and their authorized reps and resellers. Please go to www.sierramonitor.com to find the right purchasing option for you. Additionally, you will need to use gloves when handling the sensor cell to avoid skin contact with the electrolyte solution. First. Pour the electrolyte solution from the glass container into the plastic fill bottle. Next, unplug the sensor assembly from the transmitter and remove from the enclosure. Next, unscrew to remove the outside protective gray barrel from the sensor assembly. Do not attempt to unscrew or disconnect the glued sensor cell from the upper sensor housing. Then, invert the sensor assembly so the membrane is facing upwards. Afterwards, unscrew box nut and remove the retainer ring to expose the membrane. Be sure to remove the old membrane and the o-ring using the tweezers and dispose. Make sure that you do not touch the membrane or the o-ring with your fingers. Next, pour out the old electrolyte into the container for disposal. Next, use the alcohol swabs to clean the electrode tip. Be aware that the tip may be discolored due to oxidation. Continue to scrub. The electrolyte tip must be clean and shiny. Afterwards, use the tweezers to replace the new o-ring. Then, Place a drop of the fresh electrolyte solution onto the electrode tip and use the tweezers to install the new membrane centered on the tip. Prepare to replace the membrane from the package. Please note the difference between the membrane and the paper space. The replaceable membrane is white. The paper space is an off-white green hue. Next, replace the membrane retainer ring and box nut and tighten the box nut with your fingers. Once the box nut is seated, tighten by turning an additional 90 degrees. The box nut must be secure, but only finger tight. Do not use any tools to tighten the box nut. Be sure to orient the sensor to a normal position in preparation for filling. Then, remove the mill seal and pressure compensation screw. Once open, Use the fill bottle to add fresh electrolyte solution up to the max fill line on the sensor cell.
After the sensor cell is full, replace pressure compensation screw, then replace the outer barrel on assembly. This completes the sensor recharge process. Now, reinstall the sensor assembly into the instrument enclosure and plug the connector into the transmitter. Then reinstall the gas detector to the proper location and replace power. Be sure to allow new gas detector to operate for a minimum of one hour before performing calibration. After one hour has passed, you can perform the sensor permeation system procedure. Prepare for procedure by confirming your following items are present. The permeation system calibrator, the ammonia permeation tube, calibration gas delivery fitting, the one quarter inch OD Teflon tubing, magnetic wand for the transmitter. As mentioned earlier, all of these items can be purchased from Sierra Monitor or other authorized reps and resellers. Please go to www.sierramonitor.com to find the right purchasing option for you. Please verify that the permeation tube is not expired. If expired, replace immediately. The permeation tube is shipped with a scrubber cap that must be replaced when the tube is not in use. The tube must also be removed from the calibrator when not in use to prevent contamination of internal components. First, install the tube into the quarter inch tube T inside calibrator enclosure using the 9 16 inch wrench. Tighten snugly. Next, Verify that the D-cell battery for the pump is installed and operational. Replace if needed. Please note that the unit is used for demonstration and has battery replaced with a power supply. Then, turn on the calibrator and let purge for a minimum of 15 minutes before applying to the gas sensor. Set the flow rate on the flow meter according to the rate chart created with the two rate constant. For this demonstration, we will use 50 ppm standard. This will require a flow rate of 434 cc per minute per calculation. Once the flow rate is adjusted, leave the system running until prompted. The detector will prompt when to apply a span gas. Once calibration is complete, turn off the pump and disconnect the perm tube from the T. Be sure to store the perm tube with the scrubber cap. Reinstall gas detector into service and allow at least one hour for it to stabilize before beginning the calibration process. To prepare the gas detector for calibration, inspect the reinstalled sensor cell's health to make sure that it's okay to proceed. This includes checking for any damage, wiring faults, and if the sensor itself is still functioning. The detector must be scrolling its identity and the display should show zero PPM. Now that you have all the necessary tools and inspections out of the way, you're ready to start the global cal procedure. Step one, applying zero gas. Begin the global cal procedure by tapping the magnetic wand on the mode key, or the M, two times until the display shows the phrase CALIB. Once CALIB is present, tap the enter key, or E, to confirm the process. There are two ways to apply zero gas. If it is known that you are in a clean environment, where the ambient air surrounding the sensor is free of hydrocarbons, this can be used as a stable gas zero standard. We will be using the ambient air as a zero gas for our demonstration today. However, if it is unknown that you are in a clean environment, you must apply zero gas through the cylinder. To do this, attach the gas delivery fitting underneath the sensor to the actual sensor, then connect the tube from the regulator, which is attached to the zero gas air cylinder. Turn on the valve on the regulator. After two or three minutes of zero gas application, when the zero stable reading is shown on the display, use the magnetic wand to confirm the zero gas by tapping the E key. If you applied zero gas from the cylinder, you can now turn off the zero gas and disconnect the tubing and fitting from the sensor. Step two, applying the span gas. First, confirm the span gas concentration. Note that this is an ammonia gas detector and we are using a 50 ppm gas as our standard for demonstration. Not all span gas concentrations are the same. Use a magnetic wand to tap the E key to confirm.
Now you are ready to apply the span gas. Attach the gas delivery fitting underneath the detector to the sensor. Then connect the tubing from the permeation system, which is already running, to the delivery fitting and allow the gas to flow into the sensor. This will flow the span gas into the sensor at a predetermined rate. Observe the display so that the concentration remains stable, plus or minus 5% of the reading. Once stable, confirm the calibration by tapping the magnetic wand on the E key. Step 3. Completing the process. Observe the display and you'll notice that the detector will begin a countdown of 5 minutes. We'll also display pass. This ensures that the detector will return to normal operation when no span gas is present. As the timer continues to count down, turn off the span gas pump and disconnect the tubing and fitting from the sensor. After 5 minutes, the global cal procedure will be completed and the detector will be in full operation. Remove the permeation tube from the calibrator and store the scrubber cap installed. Through the simple and time-saving global cal procedure, calibrating a gas detector has never been easier. For additional questions, please go to www.sierramonitor.com.